In this video, we'll continue the difference between include and import in Ansible. In the first video, we have seen all these differences. We have seen some examples as well. In this video, we'll see how to execute list task, start a task to see the difference. And we'll see how we can include variables from inventory file in the include task statement and how to include variables using include wars or wars file. In the first video, we have seen what is dynamic and static in case of include and import, and how this is getting processed, and how import is pre processing the task. Then we have seen the task option. We have seen how this applies a when condition. Here, if we give when condition for include task, this was just getting applied only to the include task itself, but here it was applying to the child task as well and loop was supported only in the include task and import was not supporting loop now we'll see this option and here task within include is not listed here all the tasks will appear let us try running this command and verify it i'll go to vs code here i'll give the command hyphen hyphen list hyphen tasks and before that we need to remove this loop i'll save the file enter so here in case of import it is loading all the tasks which are available now we'll try changing this to include task save it And here, if you notice, this is loading only till here. And include task is not aware of the tasks which are available inside include task file. So it is showing only these tasks. And because of that, I'll go to the documentation and show you. If you want to start at a particular task include task cannot do that because it is not aware of all the tasks but in case of import you can do that we will check that as well and go to vs code and here i'll give start hyphen at hyphen task and i'll give this particular task name This is inside user conf file. And now I am running within include. Enter. So here it is saying no matching task found because it is not able to load the files which are available inside include. So now let us change this to import. save it and we'll try running so now you can see error has changed now it is trying to run the task but we don't have variable set because we are skipping all the previous tasks if you want to pass the variables manually you can give hyphen e extra variable this we have seen earlier so it is saying new user variable is not defined i'll set new user enter and now it is saying new password is not set we can set all the variables space new enter so now this is running these two tasks but now it is saying v is not defined Now this is able to run it successfully. So we'll go to the documentation again. So here start a task is not supported if you're using include and that is supported in case of import. 
and even tags will get applied to all the tasks if you're using import and this will get applied only to the main task if you're using include now we'll see this option so we will try to read a variable from inventory file i'll go to vs code go to inventory i'm using this inventory within that i have two variables one is var from inv and i'm already using that variable here so import and include are able to read the variables from the inventory but here if i try to change the file name i'll go to the main playbook here instead of this this file name i'll try to use the variable from the inventory i'll use this variable first uh, let us try with include here we are giving even the start task i can remove that this is getting executed with include i'll comment this so now this is reading the variable from inventory file and comment it so here we are getting an error when using static imports ensure that any variables used in their names are defined in wars or wars files so we need to use either wars or wars files or even we can pass it using extra wars we have seen that earlier hyphen e and we we'll give file name equal to user conf dot yaml now this is able to run it but this is not able to read the variable from inventory for the task and another difference is in case of include we can include the variables using include wars but in case of import we need to use wars files this we have already seen earlier in the section 10 in the playbook wars we have seen how to use wars files and in the include wars we have seen how to include a war within the task you can take a look into these videos to understand the options these are some of the key differences between import and include in ansible i hope this video was helpful